Almost a month after their houses and businesses were flooded after heavy rain, people living along the Thames are still waiting to return to their homes. There's still a flood warning in place for the Marlow area and some people are facing repair bills running into tens of thousands of pounds. Sarah Harris has this report. It feels like a never-ending job, according to staff, cleaning up after the worst floods here anyone can remember. This activity centre in Marlow is a charity and relies on volunteers, but without the help of local people, they say they simply won't get on their feet again before their first visitors come next month. We did raise stuff because we expected to flood, but not quite as high as we did flood. So, yeah, fridges, freezers, ovens... Um, all the office furniture, filing cabinets, everything you can think of that would be in an office or an environment like this is, is now wet and is in the skip. Further upstream in the village of Wargrave and many residents still haven't been able to move back to their homes. Those who have are being told to boil their tap water. Their clean-up still some way off. Every time there's a dry day like this, it's a blessing for people living around here and although the water is still deep it's definitely starting to go down but you have to remember that the heavy rains came around Christmas time so people have been living like this for almost a month and all they want is to come out of their front door and to step onto dry land. With many roads still closed and drives flooded it's been especially challenging for those families who need medical supplies. Jeff's wife is diabetic. It's a bit of, bit of a worry, but uh, the, I'm sure the services would be there if we needed. Um, you try not to panic too much or she wouldn't sleep. Back in Marlow and things are beginning to dry out, but with £100,000 worth of damage to contend with, for the charity the crisis certainly isn't over. Sarah Harris, BBC London News.